Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm hoping that I'm like not all up in your grill. I started to do a voiceover tutorial for this video, but then I decided not to because I got this whole new backdrop situation going on and you know, I feel like, you know, we may as well chat while we get ready. And I have some new Makeup Geek eyeshadows right here and I have showed them in another video, but I've been getting a lot of questions, you guys, believe it or not, on Instagram, on Snapchat, people are like, can we get swatches of the matte ones? Can we get swatches of the foil ones? and I did the foiled swatches on Instagram, but you guys still want more. So I figure why not give you guys a twofer? Well, not four, but a twofer, okay, to where I give you an eyeshadow look because I already have some faves in this collection, like already, like totally, and I'll give you swatches at the end. But don't zoom past, okay? Let's like, let's chat, let's talk, let's hang out. So forgive me if I keep looking at my monitor because I'm trying to make sure the lighting is right. This is my first time ever using a backdrop, y'all. So bear with me. If you have any ideas, if you have any tips and tricks, let me know. And so I wanna try a lot of different things. But first, we gotta get this lighting down. And I'm thinking it's okay. So let me know what y'all think, all right? Oh! One more thing. The other thing I wanted to tell y'all about is that I have my own outro song, which you guys are gonna hear at the end of the video too. But like, can I give y'all a snippet now? Yeah. A lot of you guys were asking if it's the mini me's. It's totally not the mini me's. Hey everybody, CK here. And I'm gonna tell you guys with a really, really quick video. That's me, y'all. Y'all hear my voice? It That's me. Like hey. Early in the morning and I have to get out of here. CK be beat, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, CK beauty makeover. But I promise you guys will hear the rest at the end because that's how we get down now. Let's get to it because y'all know when we do chit chats, I tend to make my videos longer and I ain't trying to do that on today. I'm gonna go into my handy dandy palette, which is what I use a lot, a lot. Cause y'all know, I got some faves up in here. We got Cocoa Bear, we got Peach Smoothie, although I'm gonna try not to use that today. I'm gonna try to use something else. But there is, um, where's that color at? Here it is, there's Bitten. So I'm gonna go into the crease with Bitten or I could use Cherry Cola. Uh, let's go with Bitten. So what I'm going for, or what my intentions are, is to give you guys a series of fall makeup looks because I just really love fall and I just really love deep colors and I really love deep lipsticks and the list can go on. So I asked you guys on Snapchat if you guys wanted a fall series and a lot of you guys said yes. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I also did a drugstore makeup look, but here's the thing you guys. I did that look like way before I got this backdrop and everything. And like now that I have the backdrop, like I'm so excited and I almost don't want to edit and put that up. But if y'all still want to see it, let me know. I used a bunch of products that I got from L'Oreal, okay? I was going to go into Cocoa Bear, but I forgot. Like there's like new shadows here. So we're going to use the new shadows. And this color right here is giving, wait, where is it? Hold on. This color right here is giving Cocoa Bear a run for its money. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not giving up on Cocoa Bear. I'm not. But this Cabin Fever, it's bomb. This one right here is called Tan Lines, and this one is Sidekick. I could have went into Tan Lines, but I'm going to do a little Cabin Fever, and I may go into Tan Lines as well. I'm just going to put Cabin Fever, like, on the kind of outer V right here because it's a little deeper. And I don't want to get too much deepness in my crease yet because I want to get that lid on first. And you know what? I have a dupe lipstick for you guys too. When we get to that point, I am so excited. Like last night, I was looking over my lippies because I was like, oh, I want to do like a lippy that is really like, you know, fall appropriate and kind of geared towards this other color that we're going to use, which is curtain call right here. So I was like, I want to do something deep like that. And I put on this other lippy right next to it because I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to use and I'm like Mac y'all think y'all slick it's a dupe and they're they're both by Mac so we're gonna go into tan lines and I'm just gonna put tan lines ah oh, tan lines is good as a little eraser go tan lines go tan lines go 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 I think I love he I don't know what movie that came from but I know it came from a movie I am going to tell you guys that I will be doing a video about like how I picked my skincare regimen because so many people have been contacting me or sending me messages on Facebook or however they contact me. They've been contacting me and asking me about like my skincare regimen. Like, can you use this? Can you use that? You know, why do you use this? Why do you use that? 
I'm going to tell you why I use everything that I use. I've done many videos on my skincare regimen. Like I have a whole playlist, but I feel like this will be beneficial in helping you guys, you know, figure out what type of skincare regimen is best for you. So I was going to use my finger, but I just remembered that Makeup Geek came out with a foiled eyeshadow brush. And so let's put it to the test, baby. Okay. That brush does work really good with these shadows. I really should have used a mixing medium because last time I did foil shadows, I used a mixing medium so it wouldn't transfer, but I'm not doing that this time. Now I'm gonna go with the other side of the brush into curtain call because I think they really look good together and like they go together. Look at that, do y'all see that? Oh, blend them together a little bit. So I want them to look like they go together. As a brow bone, I think I'm gonna use um, my topaz, but I wish topaz was pressed. Y'all know I usually use peach smoothie, but I felt compelled to use like a, a yellow kind of color today or a gold kind of color today. And let me tell you, that's working. I'm pretty sure they sell this pressed already as well, but I have so much, like why buy a pressed one? I'm gonna, I'm, maybe I'll press it myself. I want some more bitten, just a little bit. Just a little, I'm not even putting the brush all the way in the pan. So then you wanna spend like 90 minutes on blending, okay? Because that is what I do and I cut out like a whole lot of it, y'all. I just wanna deepen this up a little bit. I want it to be kinda sultry. And I am going to go into bitten again i need a mirror close up so we're going to put this under here now i'm going to do a wing liner but y'all know how life goes i don't do that on camera because i'll be all up in the mirror so i will be right back okay it's a little bit longer than the other one but i won't tell nobody if you don't oh and i didn't tell you guys i'm using the milani stay put matte 17 hour wear liquid liner. I love it so much. The only complaint I have is that I want it to be a little longer because when you put on your lashes and you go over your lash line, like say you want to make the line a little deeper, it always gets on the tip of my lashes. And you see what I'm saying? When I wipe it off, look at my finger. That I don't like, but other than that, I love this liner. So we do a little cleanup on aisle seven. Now I'm going to move on to a primer and I've talked about this primer. You guys, I love this Bye Bye Pores primer by it cosmetics and when i tell you that this stuff like really adheres or makes your foundation adhere to your face and look flawless it's amazing but it does leave a little bit of a cast which i don't like but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be putting your foundation on top oh and somebody asked me on snapchat i think they asked me if i like this primer better than um becca i think i like them equally and I think it just depends on what you're going for. But is it worth it? Absolutely. Okay, now we're gonna correct with my MAC Peach Luster. And oh, dang, that was a lot. Let's try to scoop some of that up and put it here. Now I'm gonna go into another foundation that I've been loving, you guys. I told you about it on Snapchat. It is the Urban Decay All Nighter. The shade that I'm in is 9.75. And it does have a little bit of a red tone for me, but... I can make it work, but unless you like all up in my grill and you're like totally analyzing my face, it doesn't matter. And I like it because it really does stay put. And I found that it works really good with the BH powder. It works really good with this primer. It works so good with this primer. This is full coverage though, y'all. And y'all know I like foundation, so don't be shocked, okay? So let's give this a go. Okay, it feels pretty soft. It's not as soft as a beauty blender, but it feels really good. This is the Ofra. It just feels like it's a little like rubber inside of there, but it's totally doable. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's not bad at all. I feel like it's a little more firm than my beauty blender though. I don't know if I said that already, but it's a little more firm. I told you guys, I really been loving this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I really have. It's not replacing my Maybelline Better Skin, but I like it a whole lot. It's so creamy and hydrating, and I love this little technique that I use with it. Plus, my Maybelline is almost out. I did buy another one, but before I break that open, I'm like, let's just 
let's just work with Too Faced. This is the shade Dark. This doesn't give me the highlight I need, so that's why I mixed the two. And now we're gonna go in with Tan. And I'm just gonna put it like around the areas that I really want to kind of highlight. So then I just let that concealer sit for like two to five minutes or so and just let it kind of, I don't wanna say mattify, but I let it get a little bit tacky if that makes sense. It just makes it last longer. It takes away some of the hydration out of it because it's very, very hydrating. And I don't need it to be that hydrating because when it's too hydrating, it tends to crease on me. So I just let it sit a little bit. I told you guys that I've been using my Beauty Blender to set my concealer as well. So now we're gonna contour a little bit with my NYX contour stick. I'm gonna set that foundation real quick before I change that battery, just in case it cuts off on us, okay? I'm about to use this BH Cosmetics powder in 240, and I'm gonna use my E1 brush. I get so many questions about this brush, and you guys, when I do makeup looks, I always put like my brushes, <laughs> I always put my brushes in the description box, okay? So we're gonna set this, and I blend it down there too because we don't want that red to come through. We want everything to match. So I got some questions on my last video about the Becca powders and some people were saying that they look really small, how much product was in it and it's 0.2 ounces and it's the same as like their blushes. So you see, it's the same. Here is the dark golden as a contour, which I love it. I think that this is like perfect for me. Oh my gosh, I totally meant to use this brush from IT Cosmetics. You can use it for your primer or like any of their skincare items. It is called um, Heavenly Skin Brush. And this is the Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush. And it is number 701. So for my blush, I am gonna use a Makeup Geek blush. Well, let me do it like that. A Makeup Geek blush. And this is in the color Chivalry. And I really like this color and it's very pigmented. So a dibba dabba do ya. And um, see, I'm just, but y'all know, I'm using like a light hand because I don't like a whole lot of blush. You guys, I fixed my brush. Mm -hmm. I used some E6000, whoever recommended that glue to me, Thank you, girl. I appreciate your ministry. And it worked out. And like, we're good. Because you know, when you fall in love with a brush, like you really don't want to get another brush. You want to keep using the one that you have. And I love this so much. So I'm glad that it worked out. So about this highlighter we're about to use. It is actually an eyeshadow. And I was watching Jaclyn Hill snap and she was talking about using a Morphe palette, which this is my Morphe brushes palette. And this palette is the 35E. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that but um, it is the 35E and I am gonna use this color in there. She was using like a few of them and she said someone actually recommended it to her. So you know me, I wanna test it out for myself. I wanna put it to the test. And so that's what I did. So the color that I used yesterday was this color. And let's see what we get. You see, that's bomb. If y'all have this palette and you don't wanna spend a whole bunch of money on highlighters, you can do that. Although I love highlighters, so I don't think that'll stop me, but now I have more options. So I told you guys that I had some dupes as far as a lipstick. Check these out. I know that they look a little bit different. This one is more mattifying. This one is a satin finish, I believe. Actually, it's opposite, satin matte. That's crazy. So one of them is limited edition and the other is not. So I'm gonna line my lips with Max Night Moth Liner, which I'm not gonna have you watch me. I'm just gonna line it and I'll be right back. All right, that's not perfect, but I got in the habit of lining my lips this way because I'm used to doing ombre, so pay that no mind. We're gonna go on the bottom with Living Legend, and then on the top, I'm gonna use another color. But the reason that I decided to use this, cause I thought it was kinda cool to have like Legend eyeshadow and Living Legend lipstick, you know? Now this is Femme Noir, and I know for sure that this is like permanent. I don't think Living Legend is, but this is definitely permanent. Matter of fact, I just got this like a few months ago. Can you tell which is which? I sure can't. I mean, they look different in a tube, but they look the same. See, keep me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty.